This recent string of active shooter situations led us to Texas State University's Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training Program, ALERT for short. We wanted to get a better idea of how police respond and react to these situations, and KXAN's Amanda Brandeis spent the day with those trainers. She is here with more on their advice, Amanda, about how to protect yourself. Well, the experts at ALERT don't want people to live in fear, but you need to understand these situations can happen. And if they do, you do have the right to defend yourself. Familiar places, theaters, malls, and schools, now fear. It's natural to be scared. Everybody's scared when someone's trying to cause them harm. But if you take a minute to think how you would react now, it could save your life later. <laughs> First recommendation is to avoid the attacker if you can do that. If for some reason you can't, deny them access to your location, keep them from getting to you, and that defending yourself is the last resort. Open spaces like this and a movie theater leave you with the least amount of options. Alert says it's okay to duck, but don't stay put. One thing we don't want to see happen is to have you do what we call hide and hope, which is where somebody just hides behind something and then they just hope that the shooter doesn't find them because if the shooter does find you, it doesn't leave many options. If you're in a theater, Blair says get out of the line of sight, watch, and look for an opportunity to break for an exit. If it comes down to defending yourself, that's better than doing nothing. So he comes through with the gun and I just get my hands on the gun and we wrestle for the gun, elbows, knees, headbutts, biting, kicking, punching. He says when you're fighting for your life, you don't have to fight fairly. Right now, ALERT only trains law enforcement, but they're getting ready to provide training for the public. We'll keep you posted.